We're here at GSR 16 in Sham el-Sheikh in Egypt and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Sasha Polverini, who is the Senior Programme Officer for Financial Services for the Poor at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, as well as being Chairman of the ITU Focus Group on Digital Financial Services. Mr. Polverini, thank you very much for being in the studio with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the Global Symposium for Regulators. I wanted to ask you, how has GSR helped to build momentum for ITU's uh, focus group on digital financial services? Sure. I think this year the GSR is a special one, particularly for uh, our topic, financial inclusion and digital financial services, because we had the idea to organize a pre-event, a thematic event on digital financial services for financial inclusion, with the idea to bring together financial regulators and telecommunication regulators. Uh, digital financial services includes digital, so which is part of what the telecommunication authorities and policymakers deal with, and financial services, what the central banks and Ministry of Finance deal with on the other side. So bringing them together at international level was the first attempt to start a dialogue between policymakers that really can make a difference when we talk about financial inclusion and when we talk about using technology and digital financial services to bring more people into former financial services around the world. It was mentioned uh, many times during the pre-event there are two billion people currently unbanked, so it's a very ambitious target that we have to uh, you know, solve and address that issue. So the GSR this year is trying to elevate that dialogue uh, in a different way, so really trying to raise awareness at the highest level uh, amongst politicians and uh, decision makers about what digital financial services can do to uh, increase financial inclusion around the world. And so is in a way is supplementing the work that we are doing in the focus group simply because the focus group is more technical level. So we're trying to address issues um, really in a practical and operational way. The GSR with a dialogue, the global dialogue on digital financial inclusion is trying to elevate that debate at the much more political uh, level and raise awareness. So they are really complementary and so we, we hope that this is not going to be the only first dialogue but just uh, uh, the first of a set of uh, high level uh, meetings and convenings on this topic. And it was very important for us also to have the Alliance for Financial Inclusion uh, partnering uh, for, this, uh, for this event. Um, as it was mentioned by the Executive Director uh, during the conference, there would be a memorandum of understanding that would be signed uh, between the ITU and the Alliance formalizing a bit the relationship between the two entities, which is a, a great step forward in, uh, in terms of collaboration. And what's next for the focus group this year? So the focus group uh, will uh, conclude uh, its work at the end of the, of the year in December. We have two meetings left. Uh, in September we will organize a meeting in East Africa and then in December we will all reconvene for the final Kermes in, uh, uh, in, in Geneva. Uh, and this is where uh, we will discuss uh, the final deliverables. So we have a set of reports. We have already uh, seven reports that were endorsed by the focus group at the Washington DC meeting at the end of April uh, this year, so a few weeks ago. And we have like 10, 15 reports in the pipeline. And these are all thematics studies and analysis that will include a set of recommendations for policymakers to be really concrete about actions they can take uh, to promote financial inclusion in their own countries. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done from now till September and from now till December, but I'm very optimistic that we will be achieving uh, good results with the focus group. We're here on the third day of GSR 16, there's one more day. I wonder, have there been any key takeaways for you here? It's, uh, there's a lot of uh, talking about collaboration and inclusion. So it's be empowered, be included. So I'm very happy to see that word uh, becoming part of the jargon also of, of the ITU. I think the ITU has been talking about inclusion from in terms of digital divide and the access to broadband and other technologies. Uh, we are seeing a, a common ground now becoming much more clear in terms of, for example, financial services. We see a convergence of, of, of interest and objectives between uh, what we're doing and what the ITU is doing, which is very promising. I know there'll be a few people here outside watching this uh, uh, who might, might be interested to know why is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation interested in this? We are interested in this because um, in a way, financial services is the common kind of like tissue between all the other programs and initiatives that we have at the foundation. So the foundation is mostly known for the work 
is doing in the health uh, f uh, sector in, the, in, the, in that field with uh, you know, uh, vaccine deliveries and, and the work we're doing to eradicate polio or fight malaria, TBC or HIV or maternal health and nutrition. We have also other uh, programs in, in terms of support, for example, to smallholder farmers uh, become more productive. Uh, we have a program of water sanitation. So financial services for the poor links very well all this program. I mean, the, uh, the, basically the assumption is that we want every but all people around the world to live a productive and healthy life. So healthy is, is what we do in, in this health sector. But of course, once you are healthy, you need to be also be productive and lift yourself out of poverty and stay out of poverty. So access to the right financial tools at the right time allows low income household who are on one side much more protected from a healthy perspective because there are more vaccines and more, more coverage to also live a much more productive life and be able to stay out of poverty through financial services. So they are really complementary projects and it's kind of like the underlying tissue if you want for all our initiatives. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much indeed for sharing a few insights uh, with us here at uh, GSR 16 and we wish you the very best uh, with the focus group in the future. Thank you very much.